Hi there, my name is Mike, and today what we're going to do is we're going to use Paint Code 3 and create a toggle switch. I'm going to start by taking my canvas and changing the background color to a light gray to make it somewhat easy to see my control and add a rectangle onto the canvas. I'm going to take my radius control and crank it up until I have a pill shape. And let's make this guy a little bit bigger and a little bit higher on the radius and align him horizontally and vertically. Then let's change the color to a nice magenta of sorts. Once that's complete, I'm gonna add another color over here. I'll name it white and select white. Then start my toggle control. I'm gonna grab an oval and put it into my scene. And let's select our white color that we already created and center this guy horizontally. Over in my X position, I'm going to set this to 15. So that way it stays just outside of my pill box. And then I'm going to scroll down to the bottom right and add a shadow just to get a little bit fancy and make it so the shadow is on the left side. And we're going to toggle the opacity down just a hair. And once that's complete, I can start adding my variables for my toggle control. The X position of my toggle is 15 right now, and I'm gonna make that a number called X pose, X position, and give it a value of 15. Once that's complete, I need to find out my minimum and maximum values. So if I go a new number X minimum, I don't want it to go any less than 15, which is its current position my X maximum, let's find out how far over to the right we want to go. So if I move this over, right about there, 145 is what I'll do. So X maximum, new number, 145. And what I want is for the control, for the toggle control to stay in between the 15 and the 145. So I'm going to set it back to the 15 X position and I'm going to take this circle here and drag it and release my mouse and assign it to the X axis. And as I scroll up, it's going to go to the right because it's controlling the X axis. But you see how it goes past my range of 15 and 145. So let's set this back to 15 real quick and start making my formula, my expression to keep it within that, that bounds. So let's do a new expression, and I will call this bounds. And my expression here is a couple of ternary operators that will keep it between the 15 and 145. So from here, what I'll take is the variable that I created earlier, x position, and if it is greater than or equal to x minimum, and x position is less than or equal to x maximum, ternary operator, return the x position. If that returns false, then I want another ternary operator. It will be x position less than x minimum, return x minimum, if not, return x maximum. So if I fall within my range of 15 and 145, return the position. We're inside the range. If we are less than my x minimum or greater than my x maximum, that's where this ternary operator comes into play. What this first part says is if I am below my x minimum, then you should be at the x minimum. If I am greater than my x maximum, then I should be at my x maximum and no greater. So let's take our circle here and attach it to our x-axis and start moving the position. Now, if I go down, I won't move. If I go up, I'm going to stay within the range until I hit 145, and it doesn't travel any further on the x-axis. If I go back down, and if I go back up, I'm going to add one more value. Let's set my x position back to the default value of 15. And this one will be another expression. And I'm going to name this value. If my x position, or if my bounds, 
equals x minimum ternary operator, it's going to return false, else return true. And what that means is, if my bounds is set to 15, then return false. Anything else, if it's 16, 17, whatever else, return true. So as soon as I move my uh, x position, that check mark gets ticked, and now my value is true. So if I go all the way to the side, my value is true. If I go all the way down, my value is false because the bounds equals x minimum. So that will let you check your your value in code just like a toggle switch. It's either off or it's on, and that is the final project. So thank you for watching the video, and please subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions whatsoever on this project.